what's up guys welcome back to my channel uh, in this video I'll show you how to read and uh, insert records into our uh, SQL server DB okay let's get started uh, first uh, let's go to uh, spring initializer portal okay uh, let's create our Spring Boot application using Java and Maven version is uh, 3.2.4 then uh, the package we change to let's say demo uh, SQL server let's, be, let's put JPA okay Okay, then uh, let's skip the default uh, packaging option and Java version 17. Then let's add a dependency web for controller. We need controller to test our uh, JPA. Then Spring Data. And then SQL Server. I think that's all. Uh, maybe we need also the long book so we can use the annotation. Uh, long book actually is a uh, optional dependency. If we use uh, getter and setter, if we create it manually, we don't need the annotation. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's generate our uh, our Spring Boot application. Let's go to our download folder. Let's ex extract it. All right. Then we delete the archive file. Let's go to our. Let's open the Spring Boot application using IntelliJ. Go to download folder. Then open, open as project. Okay, let's uh, check our dependency. All right, Spring Data. We need this one for the controller. We need this uh, web uh, dependency. Then for uh, SQL Server DB, we need this driver. Then for Lombok, we need this. Okay. Lombok annotation this then uh, this one is optional we can delete this but uh, I just leave it alone anyway uh, okay since uh, the dependencies are okay let's uh, proceed to our application properties we need to uh, configure our data source for data our SQL server database okay so let's copy it from my cheat cheat sheet. All right. So uh, since we're going to use uh, SQL Server, so the URL should format should be like this: JDBC colon SQL Server. Then the host which is local host then port is 1433 which is pointing to my local SQL server DB this one currently uh, I'm using temp DB uh, I have a table I have table employee here I can delete it so we can test it properly let's delete it first Alright, so now we have an empty DB. Okay, no more table. Let's close the. Let's 
Actually, this is from another database, which is Postgre. Let's focus only on the SQL Server, okay? So now our SQL Server DB is empty, okay? Okay, let's go back to our code. So our configuration is okay. It's pointing to our SQL Server already. The name of the DB is tempdb, all right? Username and password is this. Then our uh, driver or dialect is SQL Server dialect. Okay, this is the class driver. For our, uh, this tells our framework that our DB uh, dialect is SQL Server. Then this uh, configuration is to create the auto create or update our uh, DB tables. In our case, uh, we will create an entity. So now our DB is empty, right? So we need to create an entity or the table. Let's say empty employee. Anyway, I already create. I already have the entity here. Let's just copy. So the this entity must be mapped to our D, DB table, which is employee. Okay. Then this annotation, this is Lambok annotation. If you want, if we we, we want to uh, use the getter and setter automatically, so we don't need to create a um, uh, getter and setter manually. Okay. So this uh, ID annotation is to um, uh, tell the framework that uh, this column ID is our primary key. Okay, then let's just import this locally. All right. So after creating the entity, we need to create also the repository or the DA, DAO. The, the DAO or the repository is our interface to communicate with our database server. Okay, employee repo. We annotate it with the uh, at repository at repository. Okay, then uh, we change this to interface because this is really an interface. Then extend JPA repository. First parameter is the entity, which is employee. Second parameter is the primary key, which is type integer. Right? So now we're ready to go. Our uh, API or our interface is ready. We can communicate already to our SQL server database. We, we, to test, we need to create an uh, controller. We can just use the existing class, the big class. We need to create controller, press controller. Then uh, let's create an, an endpoint. Let's say uh, get mapping uh, test inquiry, right? Okay, sorry. Test inquiry. We need prime uh, method here, public string test inquiry, right? Then return. So we we use the AP, the interface or the repository to retrieve data from our database. So after that's after they wired it. Then we use the repo. Uh, find all. Uh, stream collect then to string. That's it. So this one will return all the data from our uh, employee table, okay? Then uh, let's create another endpoint for our, to insert a record to our database, okay? Test insert. You can copy this. Insert. 
we need to create an employee object employee just a dummy data okay this is for uh, demo purpose only so we just use dummy data all right let's run the application uh, before we run let's uh, have uh, let's double check our configuration so we have the data source already this data source is for our SQL server database okay then the dependencies okay already we have spring data we have the SQL uh, server driver all right it should be okay let's run our spring boot application let's put up a uh, break so we can see we can easily debug it all right let's check our lag see if there's any other here okay great it started successfully now uh, let's check our DB let's refresh we expect a new table called employee will be created okay all right successful so this is empty employee right so we test our endpoint first we insert data HTTP colon test insert. All right. Okay. So data is inserted. They check in DB. Let's refresh. Okay, the data is there. Let's uh, test our uh, retrieval uh, endpoint. Let's test inquiry. Yes, anyway, let's create a new tab. Let's create a new tab. So let's see. All right, that's inquiry. All right. Okay. See this? We get the record. So our inquiry API is working also. Also. So I think that's all guys uh, thank you for watching this video I hope you find it useful I'll see you again next time bye bye